What's going on? It's Psych here. And today, I have an LG Aristo 2. It's Google locked. It's cracked. It has a bit of LCD damage. Oh yeah, um, I transferred the screen. Or I switched motherboards from that, um, this was Google locked and it was in like mint condition. Um, and that other one, um, it works perfectly but it was in bad condition with the cracked screen. So I just put the cracked screen on the Google locked one and I put the good screen on the, um, non google locked one so we're gonna be drop testing the google locked one so uh yeah we're just gonna drop it on the side first from waist height how normal drop tests go the setup screen on this is so satisfying because it's all like okay let me show you it's like all colored which is cool um so yeah what we're gonna be doing for this drop test is we're gonna be just drop it until it is completely like unusable so yeah side drop in three two one That was borderline on the screen. And it looks like it scratched the screen, definitely. But I think it cracked a little bit more, honestly, down there. Those cracks weren't there. Okay, now we're going to be dropping it on the face from waist tight. In three, two, one. Okay, let's see what happened. Oh, man, that shattered completely. Still usable, but shattered, definitely. Um, so now we're going to be doing raising it up to chest height on the side in three, two, one. Oh. Oh. Well, maybe that was on the side. I don't know. It just did. All I know is it didn't crack anymore. And if it did, just a little bit right here. Okay, um, still looks like it's usable, so we're gonna continue with the test. Okay, face down in three, two, one. Okay, there's glass everywhere. It doesn't look like it cracked anymore. Maybe just a little bit down there again. It likes to crack in that bottom area, which is convenient because it's it wasn't as cracked down there before I started the drop test. All right, guys, so we're gonna raise it up a bit. We're gonna drop the phone from roughly five feet on the side in three, two, one. That was a pretty good drop. And, oh, we got missing pieces up here. It's all shattered up here. Yeah, dang, that thing did not survive. Okay, and face. Scr oh, that scratched it up really bad. How is that even possible? It's scratched so bad. Anyways, let's drop it on the face. In three, two, one. Okay, let's check it out. Okay. It shattered really bad, like, in the middle of the screen here, but it's still usable, it looks like. That's cool. Okay, guys, so I decided to skip, like, the 6 feet, 10 feet, all that. We're going up to 15 feet, and we're not going to drop it on the side. We're just going to drop it straight on the face. So, um, just to make sure everything works, that I can test it, we're going to drop it from here. There's a slow motion camera down there. Let's drop it in three, two, one. Oh. Okay, so that smacked right on the face. There's a SIM card right there. Probably from another phone. Yep. I smashed a phone out here, like a flip phone. Didn't even bother filming it. There's glass all over the ground. And oh, it's out. It's done. It's unusable now. So it takes about a 15 foot drop to completely kill it. It shattered right here. Yeah, this thing is done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a drop test. Definitely be careful with this thing. Peace out. Yeah, just make sure there's nothing in there. Oh, there's some phones.